Oh my. This is my best friend, Miles. And this is his base. Wow, this place really sucks. So I spent the last few days building a secret underground tunnel that leads from his basement all the way over to a ginormous cave so we can build him a fully functional underground mega base. Ooh, diamonds. Now I'm gonna begin preparing the cave by lighting up the area because we do seem to have a slight mob infestation. Yep. Point proven. And since I don't want the base to look insanely ugly and boring, I'm also going to cover the entirety of the floor with grass. Ah, okay. So we've ran out of grass. The good thing about this base is I'm literally connected to Miles' basement, meaning I can temporarily steal from him. Where is your grass, Miles? Give me all of your grass. Oh, um, okay, well, Miles has logged on right there. He isn't allowed to find out about this base until we're completely finished, since recently me and him have somewhat fell out. Now, I know at some point every friendship goes through some sort of argument. I'm just hoping once he sees what we're building for him, we'll become back to being best friends. So I guess we'll just collect all the rest of the grass we need, as clearly stealing from Miles comes with some risks. And wow, already this place is looking a lot nicer. Although we definitely need to sort this mob problem out at some point. But now the cave is ready for building in. These are the main blocks we're going to be using to theme the base. If I can actually get rid of these stupid glow berries first. We're aiming for a kind of magical and mystical feel. As that's going to be what will impress Miles the most. Oh my! The birch logs are the first thing on our shopping list. And luckily, I just so happen to have an insanely good tree farm. There is one issue though. It is also the world's loudest tree farm. Amethyst won't be too hard to obtain either since I still have a bunch left over from when I built my super secure bunker. Oh, actually, never mind. I don't have that much. Well, I guess that's something I can deal with later. The actual problem, however, is going to be getting the skulk catalyst. Because by my calculations, we're going to need just over 200 of them. You see, in Moses' most popular video, he infected the entire world with skulk. And to truly pay tribute to that, I think it's only right that the base is themed mainly around skulk. Sadly, I'm not finding many catalysts here. I'm kind of putting my life at risk a little bit. Well, after that entire ancient city raid, we have seven Skulk Catalysts. Wow. Now, there is actually one way to farm infinite Skulk Catalysts, which I'm going to have to do if I want to build this base. But the problem with this is it requires me to create a warden farm. Which, as you can imagine, is very dangerous. I'll start by clearing out all of these Skulk Sensors. Please don't set off the shrieker. Please don't set off the shrieker. And clean up the area where we're going to build the farm. That, eventually we're going to have mud. Now there is nothing wrong with watching tutorials, okay? Apparently I need to pillar all the way up here. Oh, we've broken into a new cave. Please don't be any shriekers around here. Oh, that's... Well, that's not good. There goes our first warning. So how this farm should work is when I stand on the shrieker, a warden will spawn inside this cage. It should walk into this chamber, get pushed up by the water elevator, and once it reaches the top, it should be pushed down, falling onto this dripstone. And then I can just collect the catalyst it drops. Hooray! There is a very high chance this goes wrong, and I could end up losing everything here. But if I want any chance to repair my friendship with Miles and build the base for him, this is a risk that I must take. Oh, here he is! Please, Warden Farm, do not fail me! Yes! He's gone up the water elevator! And... Okay! He's fallen back down. He... He just has to go back in the elevator one more time. Why... Why is he not moving? Um... Okay. This isn't... Good. I'm... I'm running. I do not like this at all. Please do not shoot me with your sonic charge! I don't hear him down here anymore! 
Did he die? Please tell me he's dead. What? Ye yes! What? It actually worked. Look, there's a catalyst. I mean, now I can finally begin putting all of these materials to work and making an epic staircase all the way from the floor to the tunnel. I'll create a bunch of these tall amethyst cheapos things, which really give off a mystical feel. And finally, I'll lay down some pathways that will lead to various different parts of this base that we are going to be building. Oh my. Before we continue on with any more building, we really need to stop these mobs spawning in. Now, we could just make life easy for ourselves and spam torches everywhere, which will definitely stop these mobs spawning. But it looks... Oh my gosh, it looks so bad. So the other idea I've had instead is to be putting up some glowstone lamps. Since they'll still emit enough light to stop monsters from appearing. Hopefully these look a little bit better than all the torches. Oh, these do not look better than all the torches. Oh, no! I do have one more idea that will stop mobs spawning and look good at the same time. However, it's going to require frogs, magma cubes, and a whole lot of hard work. Oh, this will be fun. Let's start off by finding a mangrove swamp where tons of frogs are going to be living. Yep, here it is. And specifically, we need to find one of these orange frogs. So, not you. You are not orange. Oh, wait. Orange frogs spawn in normal swamps, actually. So, thank goodness there's one here. As when we put these cute little guys face to face with magma cubes, they actually eat them, which drops these yellow frog lights, which we can use to light up the cave. We just need to get this guy into the nether somehow, which is a lot easier said than done. Yes, finally. I think he's gone through. Yes, the frog is in the nether. I repeat, the frog is in the nether. And oh... <laughs> He is not holding back on these magma cubes. Oh my goodness. Who is a hungry boy? Clyde? I'm... I'm going to call you Clyde from now on. And thanks to Clyde's incredibly courageous work, we not only have a new friend to help us build this base, but now we also have all we need to prevent mobs from ever spawning inside of here again. I'm just going to add a few final touches here and there, but as it turns out, Miles actually has a pet of his own. No, it's not a frog like Clyde. It's this weird underwater skeleton horse thing. This tiny pool cannot be nice to live in. I think we need to create him a ginormous aquarium inside of the mega base. Now I think over here is where I want to build it. And we need to start off by digging out a circular area. But since I'm unable to use a beacon, as the beam would completely give away this underground base, I'm going to resort to using explosives. Okay, I might need to neaten this up a little bit. And while I'm digging out the area, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Honkai Impact 3rd. Honkai Impact 3rd is a free-to-play action RPG game with crazy combat mechanics and a spectacular art style. Part 1's final story chapter, Towards a New Tomorrow, has just been released, bringing a new battle suit to Kiana, Hersha of Finality. Raiden May, Hersha of Origin, is also soon to receive a new battle suit. <laughs> which you are definitely not gonna want to miss. You'll also be able to get amazing new outfits in this version, such as Fallen Rosemary's new outfit, which can be unlocked by trying out different event modes and earning shop tokens. There's so many different outfits in this version, you'll definitely find one you love. One more thing, version Kiana marks the fifth anniversary for the global server, and during the celebration, Honkai Impact 3rd will host local events in the USA, Germany, France and UK. Download the game now and redeem this gift code to get 30 crystals, 2,888 asterites, and a Hersha trial card for free. Now for the blocks to use on the inside of this dome, I'm first going to try out a wooden design. I can't tell, but this is either going to look really good or terrible. Oh, this... Well, this is awful. <laughs> I'm thinking instead that a prismarine design could look really cool. As those blocks are already designed to be in water. So I do need to find myself an ocean monument. What the? Okay, well, we found one. I'm so confused. I mean, that's not going to stop me from stealing all the prismarine. Yes, give me all of the blocks. Come to daddy. Ow. Ow. Oh my goodness, leave me alone. Ah! Well, that was an experience. I'm hoping that all of these blocks should be enough to fill in the inside of the aquarium. 
Yep, you guessed it. <laughs> it wasn't enough. No! I really hope Miles likes this base because it's beginning to get expensive. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, lovely diamonds. And the dome of the aquarium is looking absolutely amazing. I will just quickly replace that ugly deep sight floor with an oceany floor, which still looks quite ugly to be honest, but it, it does fit in perfectly with the nice. theme. Let's add in some rock clusters, as we don't want this aquarium to look completely flat. And we'll also add in a couple sunken rip checks. Wait. What? <laughs> I, I meant shipwrecks. And now I need to quickly fly over to a warm ocean biome because here I can find a coral reef. I'm going to get a load of every single color of coral because this will look super cool inside of the aquarium. Oh, wait. The coral dies when it's not inside water. Ah, okay. Well, that means we're going to have to fill the inside of this aquarium with water before we can even think about decorating it with coral. Now, I don't necessarily know the optimal way to fill this dome with water. So, I guess I'll start from the bottom and make my way up. Wait! I am an idiot! If I just place all the water at the top, it'll flow down across the whole dome anyways. Instead, I've just wasted all my time placing it at the bottom. Wh why am I like this? I completely forgot that drowning is a thing. <laughs> nice one, Wenzo. But now the aquarium is filled, we can finally whack down all of our coral. Place a bit here. Add a tad of coral here. Okay, this really adds some nice color to the place. And now if we make our way back to Mouse's base through the world's longest and potentially slowest tunnel, we can finally kidnap his horse. Ah! And boom, Mr. Underwater Skeleton Horse thing is now in his new home. <laughs> he seems to be enjoying it. I, I think. I hope Mouse doesn't notice that his pet has gone missing because the last thing I want is him getting suspicious of me and trying to find out what I'm doing. But for now, we need to focus on upgrading his storage system because this... This simply won't do. A few months ago, Miles thought it would be funny to make a whole video about trapping me inside of a giant crafting table. As you can imagine, it was pretty embarrassing for me. But that's given me the idea to recreate this crafting table and use it as his storage room. You can see here I've used a mod to pull up the blueprint so we know exactly where we need to build. But first, let's clear out our building area. <laughs> what the? Get out of here. And now we've done with that, we can begin collecting the resources we're gonna be needing. Such as... Oak logs. Birch logs. The worst type of logs. Spruce logs. Jungle logs. And of course, Ashasha logs. A Ashasha? Ash 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 Acacia. <laughs> I need acacia logs. Now, I do have a few final blocks to collect still, such as snow, brown wool, and coal. And also coal. And a little bit more coal. But now I can finally construct the giant crafting table. Oh my goodness, look how easy it is to fill it in with this Lightmatica blueprint mod. <laughs> nice. But since this is going to be where Miles will store all of his valuables, we're going to need something to keep out greedy intruders. Because this server is full of intruders. Now when Miles killed me with the trap in his video, the floor beneath me dropped and I fell into the void, permanently losing all of my items. Thanks for that one, Miles. Now, because of this, I don't think Miles will want an actual void trap inside of his storage room, as that could end very badly. But if we create an illusion that looks like a void trap, then it should still be enough to scare off intruders and keep his items safe if he accidentally falls in himself. Sadly, uh, I'm not the best at redstone in the world. There's a good chance this doesn't work. If I place a piston here... Oh, oh my goodness. Why does he keep randomly joining? Miles is joining the server a lot at the moment, which is making me worry that he may be getting suspicious of me. And yeah, look, he left almost immediately. This is not normal behavior. I really hope he isn't onto my operation here, because if he finds me, the surprise is completely ruined, and suddenly being best friends is off the tables. Maybe if I connect this here? Okay, that should work. Let's test this thing. Oh.
Um, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I'll dig the hole pretty deep so it's actually scary if the intruders fall down. And then I'll add the void. The, the fake void. It's actually just more blocks of coal. And I'm hoping this will frighten any intruders away without killing Miles if he falls in himself. With the trap now done, we just need to gather some quartz. As I'm going to use that to decorate the insides. God, I hate mining quartz. But now we can place it all down. Yep, that was somehow not enough quartz. <laughs> and now we can finish placing the quartz. Add all of the chests, of which there is a lot. And finally, add some light. Bam! The storage system is complete. And it is quite the upgrade from his old one. However, Miles happens to have an item that is simply too valuable to be kept in these chests. We need to create a shrine for his dragon egg. Now, I have a good idea idea of what I want the shrine to look like, but to get all the materials to build it, we're going to need to find an end city. Oh, well, <laughs> well, that was a lot easier than I thought. We need to collect tons of these different purple blocks because the dragon egg shrine is going to be completely end themed. What the... What the? What are you doing here? And finally, I also need to collect an absolute ton of end stone. That ought to do it. The idea is that the dragon egg will be on top of a podium overlooking the entire base. And right now, we're aiming to create a sort of balcony for the podium. I don't really know how to best describe it, but you'll see. I'll remove all of this deep slit. Oh. No, no, no! I flooded the base, for goodness sake. I'll fill the entire balcony up with endstone and also some endstone bricks. And we'll add stairs to the edges, because why not? What doesn't look cool, though, is the underneath of this platform. It's kind of just floating, which looks really dumb. Let's add some support beams to fix this problem. No. Why are stairs so annoying to build with? But oh my goodness, this adds so much to the base, I really like it. The dragon egg is going to look so cool up there. As for how to actually get up to the platform, once again, we can't just make this accessible to anyone. Especially no stinky intruders. So I'm first of all going to need to find some end rods. And by find, I of course mean steal. Okay, never mind. Apparently, Miles has no end rods. I believe, though, that if we smelt some chorus fruits and then combine them with blaze rods, yes, <laughs> we get just the thing we need. And now I can build a parkour challenge that you must complete in order to get up to the dragon egg. I just need to place down these end rods. Why? Why am I like this? <laughs> okay, the way up to the platform has been made. <laughs> I'll quickly make the bottom of this parkour area look a bit better. Almost as if the end stone has spread and infected the normal grass. And I'm also going to construct another giant platform on the other side of the base. Where we can steal some of Miles' shulker boxes and relocate them. I guess this area is his new shulker storage. Now all we need is the dragon egg so we can put it on the podium. So once again, I'm going to gonna be stealing from him. I'm praying Miles hasn't noticed all of his things going missing, such as his skeleton horse, his shulk boxes, and his soon-to-be dragon egg. Once I'm finished with this base, everything will be revealed to him. Um, wait a second. The dragon egg is not in his chests anywhere. This, this might be a problem. The dragon egg is not in his storage room, which is worrying. Because I need to find wherever he's hiding it so I can actually continue the base. Now, he has been working on a video where he builds every biome in Minecraft. Could it be inside one of these shulker boxes? Please? Mm, no. Ah, oh, man, this is not good at all. Could it be? Wait. Oh, nope. The donkey does not have the dragon egg. That <laughs> would have been so cool if I found it there. Oh, man. I think I'm going to have to look through some recordings to see if at any point I may have missed it. But I'm scared it's just in his ender chest, in which case it'll be impossible to get a hold of. <sighs> no, no. No, no. Oh, 
Wait. There's no... Oh! Uh, what? I, I think I know where the dragon egg is now. Oh my goodness, oh my god. How could I have been so stupid? <laughs> and while I go to get the dragon egg, for every subscriber I get this year, I'm going to be collecting one frog. Meaning if you subscribe right now, you get to claim your frog. And at the end of the year, we're all going to have a massive frog party. I think it's been in one of these shulker boxes we stole all along. Please? Where is it? Where is it? Yes! There it is! Oh my goodness! I I was so scared we weren't going to find it. Let's plonk it onto the podium. And oh no, I accidentally clicked on it. For goodness sake. And boom! The dragon egg is safely inside the base. Look at the difference between the original cave and what we have now. Miles is going to love this place. I, I hope at least. All that's left to do now is create the giant centerpiece of this base where we're also going to leave some extra surprises for Miles. Now, Miles has quite an iconic and unique face, which is why I want to recreate a massive version of it in the middle of this base. I'm digging out a ginormous area that will be our building zone. <laughs> And of course, when will these mobs leave me alone? But now we've done that, let's begin recreating his magnificent head in all of its glory. Okay. I'm going to be honest, I don't like this wall design at all. It's way too boring. Thankfully, I know a way cooler block that we can use to create the head. We're gonna use raw gold. But since raw blocks cannot be made with ingots, using a gold farm is completely off the table. Thankfully, this server has an ore shop, so I should just be able to buy... Uh... Oh. Well, it seems the gold door is out of stock. Great. That is totally not annoying in the slightest. The last thing I want to do is mine all the gold ore myself, as that will take years to do. So I'm hoping Miles may have some gold ore himself. Please, please, please. No. It's not looking good. We're actually going to have to mine all the gold manually, aren't we? Well, I'm sure this won't drive me insane in the slightest. By my calculations, we're going to need around 13,000 raw gold, because I can turn that into... Uh, a, a lot of raw gold blocks. <laughs> so to do this, I'm flying over 10,000 blocks away. So we arrive in the middle of this Badlands biome. <laughs> yes, look how much gold we're getting already. Gold spawns at a way higher level in these Badlands biomes, therefore making it more common and easier to get. Ow. We've already collected 500 raw gold ore, so let's take it back to our base. Wait, where's the portal again? Uh, oh no. I can't remember where the portal is. Ah, uh, great. And now I'm being attacked by phantoms too. <laughs> Let's place down all of our ores, break them into normal raw gold, craft them into the solid gold blocks, and wow. That is nowhere near enough. We need to somehow fill up all four of the walls with this. Uh, I think we're going to need some help. I I need your help. For obvious reasons, Miles can't know that all of this gold is actually for him. So as long as he doesn't ask any questions, we should be... Let's go. Woo! Let's do, do a, this, boy. Do you, a, do you have a beacon? mining gold at the speed of light and to make things even better another player volunteered to help us on the mission let's mine up all of the gold we've gotten turn it all into blocks and boom all of the gold has finally been placed i'll quickly do the flooring and ceiling on the inside of mouse's golden head <laughs> Yes, this looks so awesome. You'll also be able to see that I'm placing down these emerald block podiums. As this is where I'm going to leave numerous different gifts for Miles to truly make sure we can be best friends once again. Such as this crafting table, which is a reminder of when he killed me. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, got a bit angry there. I also have a totem of undying on me, which is here to remind Miles of the first time we ever built something together. That being our giant totem farm. The skulk block, I, I think that's fair 
fairly obvious why that's here. And the diamond block is just a gift to show how much I value our friendship. Now, there's only four things left that I need to obtain. And I'll start with the saddle, as I can just steal that from his pet donkey. I mean, is it really stealing if he's gonna get it back anyways? Next, I need a chicken, as that was the first pet Miles ever had on the server. I see an egg. Oh, I see a chicken. You are coming back with me, Mr. Chicken. Oh, hello, guys. We quickly also need to get a sponge to congratulate him on the time he spent two months draining an ocean. I'm not really sure why he did that, but Miles works in mysterious ways. So here goes the sponge. And finally, we need Mr. Beast, as one of his videos had Mr. Beast in the thumbnail. Yeah, I started running out of ideas here. Let's return to the land of the villagers. Boat him all the way back to the base. Very slowly. And Mr. Beast has been collected. <laughs> now, I've messaged Miles to log on soon so we can finally show him this base. But while we wait for him to reply, we've got a few final decorations we need to make. The first thing is these ugly walls. Now, I want to keep the underground feel as that works really well with the sculpt. But I do want to add in a bit of color. For this, I need to gather a ton of diorite. So let me place this beacon down. Wait, why is it not working? It won't light up! What? Well, I guess we'll just mine the diorite without a beacon. As it doesn't take particularly long anyways. And I also need to collect a ton of cow... What? Huh? Cow site, which is a strangely satisfying block to mine. The final pit stop is the Prismarine shop, where I need to buy a ton of sea lanterns. So goodbye, hard-earned diamonds again. But hello to our new and cooler looking wall. It's not a massive difference, but it definitely makes the place feel a lot nicer. And why is there a creeper up there? Oh, uh, uh, uh oh. What? Oh, oh my goodness, finally! We have two final tasks we need to complete before showing Miles the base. One of which is bone mealing the area. Now, Miles has messaged me back saying he'll be on in an hour, so I'm kind of praying that I can do this in time. What? M Mr. Beast! What are you doing up there? Uh, the final task that needs doing is creating a bunch of gold sparkly star things. They're gonna help give the base a magical finishing touch that is bound to impress Miles. Sadly, I... Do not have anywhere near enough gold. There is one player on the server that happens to have a gold farm who I could ask to use it. Because unlike raw gold, this time I need ingots. I hope he lets me use the farm. All right, we're going up to the the uh, the tower over here. Because I don't know if you know, but there's a, there's an actual portal inside of this tower to get to the Nether Rift. And then we're going that we're going to follow the torches here. This is nothing fancy at all. It's very bare bones. There's a fence post here that prevent you from falling over. You you need to get into the corner to where you hover right over the the hole essentially, and then just take a bow and shoot one of them, and Lily just kind of sit here and do your thing. Okay, thank you, Lucid. I. I, I think I love you. Please, please, please tell me I can get all the gold I need in time. all of that gold. I think we're just about gonna be in the nick of time. These gold sparkles are gonna create such a nice finishing touch to this base. Which, by the way, can we just admire how awesome this place looks? Compare Moses' old base to this new one. Our work here has been truly astonishing. With all the things combined in this base, I'm really hoping Miles can see past the hardships we've had recently, and we can come to be the best of friends once again. Yoo-hoo! Wendell! Hey, Miles! What the hell is this? Is this is my base? Follow me, Miles. What the hell? Where did you even... <laughs> how, long is... how long did this take to build? I'm presenting something to you that I've been working on for a very... Very long time, and I think you'll answer some of your questions. What's this? Oh, I'm going back. Uh, Bye. Uh, my O's. I present your new base. What the hell is this? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I look so handsome. I've got a goatee as well. Yeah, I know. You, you do look rather dashing. But before I can show Miles inside of the golden statue, I first need to show him around the rest of the base. So, you know, um, the like little 
pool you built for your skeleton horse? Well, he's now got a whole aquarium. Oh, oh, he's here. Oh, I thought he was. I thought he was dead. If you make your way over here, you'll recognize this crafting oh, table. The and crafting table. <laughs> careful, Miles! Miles! Careful! Hell? Miles! Ah. There's an intruder trap in there. That what is this? This leads up to something oh, very special no. that not any random person is should just be allowed to get up to. But here, here was what I did with your dragon Whoa. egg. You know, I wasn't lying about. Miles, it's, it go? it's down there now. But the final thing I wanted to show you, the main thing of all of this is, of course, the golden face. The most beautiful thing. I have in here got totems of your past. Chicken is returned. Remember your pet chicken? Chicken. A sponge from, of course, your draining the ocean video. The crafting table. You know, that's obvious reasons. The, the crafting table. Yeah. Uh, Oh. And a diamond block, that, that is just there for a gift. Uh, my one question, Miles. Do you prefer this base or your old base? I mean, if I can keep the frog, I'll prefer this base. Anyway, Wenzo, this is now my property. So, um, get out, out of my base, Wenzo. Oh, okay, get out I'm of sorry, my base. I'm sorry. If you enjoyed that video, you are going to love this video on your screen right now. Trust me, you don't want to miss it and then forget about it later. Subscribe!